So how will you describe the show? Because I think it's very particular. Well, I think the, the thing that makes the real estate so fun is that um, you, it's not a comedy. It's not a drama. It's not a horror movie. Um, but at the same time, it has all those things. It is yeah. fun. It is scary. It is dramatic. Um, you know, so it's one of those things. It's kind of tough to actually describe it as what it is. Um, it's just a very special show. Uh, and I'm happy to be on it. So the first time we get to see your character, I thought I was watching The Exorcist because it's kind of like a scene like when Father Karas comes in. So how is Luke really for you? Yeah, you know what's cool is that was the first scene I shot too. Wow. That was my first <laughs> getting there, uh, which was super cool because it was nighttime, um, you know, and, and I'm not going to lie, uh, I was a little nervous. You know, yeah. uh, I had just finished Winona Earp. I just finished Winona Earp for sci-fi and I flew to Newfoundland to start the show and it was during COVID. So everything was locked down. I really didn't even meet any people. I didn't even meet people when they brought me to set. They had to hide me from people and crew. We can't talk. Oh my God. You know what I mean? So yeah. I show up on set. They put me in the jacket. I put the hat on and it's midnight and the rain machines throwing the rain on me and they start doing fake lightning around me, bah, 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 bah. big cranes <laughs> and cameras. And then uh, I wasn't nervous anymore because it was too cool. And yeah. Was, uh, and I knew it was an homage to The Exorcist. I knew it when I read the script, uh, you know, the hat to the thing, to the rain, to the going to the door. Uh, so I loved that. I said, uh, okay, this is going to be a special show. I, can, I knew almost immediately, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I, I think it's a very funny show, but also, like you said before, it has some horror, some drama and everything. So when you had to build this character, Luke, where did you get your inspiration to do so? Yeah, this was one of the hardest characters for me. Uh, uh, and because Luke is so confident in himself. Yeah. And uh, I'm kind of shy guy uh in in most of my in most of my real life which is you know i chose a weird profession <laughs> yeah <laughs> to be shy <laughs> but honestly i could be very shy and introverted so i i to have the confidence that luke has uh especially in some of the long monologues where he explains stuff i realized to be honest i based a lot of it on my father My dad is a salesman. He was a salesman his whole life. Since 18 until he retired two years ago, my father is a salesman. He's like Luke Roman. He, every day he woke up, he shaved, he put his tie, he went to work, suit and tie. He came home at the end of the day, briefcase. And my father, like Luke Roman, was always happy because he loved selling. He yeah. loved his job. A lot of people do that job and they don't love it. And that's the difference. They'd work nine to five. They come home. They're angry. They don't like their life because they don't love what they do. My father loved what he did. He always was in a good mood. He loved selling. So that was important for me to understand. Luke Roman loves selling houses. Yes, we deal with ghosts. Yes, we deal with all this stuff. And Luke has powers. And he can talk to dead people. But the main thing for me was, okay, he just needs to love being a salesman. And then the rest will be easy. As long as I believe that and believe Luke loves it, then, then the rest will be easy. And that's what I did. So you reunite in this show with Sarah Levy, whom mm -hmm. you work with in Shit's Creek. So I think Luke and Susan, her character, have some chemistry. I don't know if I can ask this or if you can respond this to me, but is there a possibility of romance there? Mm? <laughs> I shouldn't ask. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's wrong. I think we have a chance now in season two, the way season one ended, where if there was going to be a romance, we couldn't. I think because of, he was technically in a position of being her boss. Yeah. And she worked at that point for him. I don't think they crossed that line. Yeah. Uh, which I respect, but they definitely had something going on there. But don't forget the way we left season one is Luke is kind of, He's all alone now. He left the agency. So yeah, in that sense, it's going to suck that maybe Luke's all by himself. But if he's all by himself, maybe he can get together with somebody else now. And it's okay. really nice. Because don't forget, Susan's history is her ex-boyfriend was her old boss. And she literally yeah. had a relationship with her old boss and it ended badly. So I think um, they respect each other a lot. That no matter what feelings they had for each other, they kept it professional. Okay. Okay. I, I think this year, I think this year, 
all, all, anything can happen. Anything can happen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want you to tell me how is it to work in a show like this that has so many special effects and some supernatural things going on. How was that? I'm so I'm so lucky that I get to work on sci-fi shows and supernatural shows. They're just the funnest as an actor because this is what you signed up for. If if you didn't want to be a cowboy for a vampire cowboy or a guy who sells houses and can talk to ghosts or you know what I mean, then why did you become an actor? <laughs> Every day is super fun. It's never boring. Uh, yes. Most of the time I'm being chased by a tennis ball. Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like in real life, we don't have, the effects aren't there yet. So normally yeah. somebody with a stick and a tennis ball and the tennis ball is a crocodile or a demon or a ghost or whatever. And you're, ah, and the ball is there and you're, ah, and it's very, but it's fun. It's very fun. Um, it's my favorite type of shows to do. And uh, I, I also find the fan base for science fiction and sci-fi shows, they're a little smaller than some <laughs> of the other shows, but they're definitely the most passionate and definitely the best fan bases in the world, in my opinion. Exactly. Thank, thank you, Tim. Nice meeting you. Yeah, pleasure. Nice meeting you too.